Hello and welcome to another video for Mario Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we're looking at something that's now quite old, but it's an absolutely fantastic vintage game. We are looking at the 1980 release by Ideal from their series of space themed games. And this particular art game we're looking at today is called Space Strike. And it is the solar system target game. So in other words, it's a shooting game um, and you launch your objects at the um, target. Um, and obviously, if you get them into the scoring zones then you score the scores on the uh, in, in the zones where your uh, flying saucer lands. So basically, this you, you have a, uh, a board and you've got a, you've got a, a, a shooter. Uh, and you, you're shooting flying saucers into the solar system and if they attach and land on certain planets or certain uh, areas you score those amount of points um, and the uh, the winner is the one with the most amount of points or um, or if you say it's the first to 100 it's the first one to reach that predetermined score okay so this is the box it comes in and it says space strike the solar system target game and you can see an image of the launcher and the board and the flying saucers that have attached here to the target. And it says, launch flying saucers for high scoring space fun. Ages seven and up, ideal um, games for one or more players. Okay, so that's the front of the box. Let's just spin the box around and see what, if anything, is on the back. Uh, so, oh, okay, so on the back is exactly the same as what's on the front. Same thing again, Space Strike, the Solar System Target game, uh, launch flying sources for high scoring space fun, A7 and up, ideal for one or more players. Okay, so that's the two uh, front and back of the box. So let's just turn the box to the side and let's see what it says on the side here. So it says, um, ideal, Space Strike, Solar System Target game, launch flying sources for high scoring space fun. Pretty much the same text just a slightly different image um, on the bottom right hand corner there and let's just turn it round the other way and we've got exactly the same again uh, ideal space strike solar system target game launch flying sources for high scoring space fun and it's the same image as was on the other side and if we just turn the box to the end it says let's just zoom out a little bit on that so we can see the whole end. And it says Space Strike, a solar system target game. Um, MCM uh, LXS, it's 1980. Um, Ideal Toy Company, made in England, under license by Ideal Toy Company Limited. Um, Woken them in Berkshire. And launch flying sources for high score and fun. Number 2016-4, Ideal Games. And it's more than likely... Yep, so we've got exactly the same on the other end. Um, only there's a little bit of tearing on the box on this end. Okay, so that is the box with the game inside. Let's open it up and let's have a play. Okay, so I have removed the items from the box and I've set the board up, as you can see. It comes, uh, it's a circular board and it comes with these... Um, rests so you've got the bottom stand at the bottom and you've got the rest at the top which keeps the board open because it folds in half um which i'll show you that um in a little while um, we've got the shooter here um which basically you pop the disc in the center and you squeeze it together and that shoots the uh shooter out the, the flying saucers out now these are the flying saucers we've got four of the flying saucers and they've all got this Velcro tape around the outside. So uh, as you throw them, they hit the board. They're supposed to stick onto the board in certain places. There you go, just like that, as I've just thrown it. Um, and that would score me 700 points because it's landed on Mars. Uh, so that's the object uh, behind the Velcro. Um, so they basically, you've got four um, flying saucer models there to shoot and hit. We've also got a load of stickers here. Um, which have come off of the the, the launcher there, um, which need to be reattached at some point. Um, so no doubt we'll probably get around to doing that at some point. So this is the game. So I'd just like to insert a disc in the middle there. I'm assuming this is how it goes. Um, and then you just, yeah, you just launch. 
So they don't always stick, I, I have to say. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, that one's stuck, but I've missed the target. So let's try and go for Mercury. Oh, close, but no cigar. And we try one more. We go for... Oops, I've dropped that. Let's try again. Let's shoot for Venus. Ah, oh, I hit Venus. What a good shot that was. So basically, that's how it, how the game works. Um, I, I believe you can, if you want to, if the, the saucers doesn't stick, you can shoot them again or you can leave them out of the game. So uh, this one has having a few difficulties sticking. So maybe the Velcro's not quite as good as it should be. But yeah, that, that one not having uh, great luck in sticking. Is it? Oh, it does stick. Uh, maybe it's because I'm shooting it too hard. Uh, maybe I'm too close to the target and I need to back up a little bit um, so that they, they, they hit better and land better. So uh, that's basically the game. Let's take them off and let's see if, it, if, it, if it's any better if I'm further away. Yeah, I think it depends on how it lands because it needs to land so that it drops, I think. And I've missed the target completely that time. So we'll have one more go and see how we get on with it. Oh, there we are. So there we go. So I, I was shooting it perhaps a, a tad too hard, uh, which then has made it um, drop off and um, not land. So it's, it is quite an acquired test to do. So you've got to shoot it at the right, um, not, not too hard, and you've got to shoot it so that they drop down um, and they land on the board just the way they have here. Um, if you shoot it too hard, it's just going to hit and it, they're going to drop off. So uh, a nice little light shot gives you um, the items onto the board. So let's try. And get, there we go. So it's easy. So quite a simple game. Uh, very simple when you just total up your scores. And at the end of the day, um, so if you say the first two... Uh, I don't know, 100,000, um, so, or first to 1,000, whatever you like to do, or first to to 10,000, uh, or it, you, you win each round. So it's up to you. You can play it however you like. Um, but let's get a, a zoom in so you can see the ball properly. So you've got Neptune 400, Jupiter 200, Pluto 600, Uranus 500, Venus 900, Mars 700, Saturn 300, Earth 100 and Mercury is 1000 and you get nothing if you land in the sun. So there we are. So that is your board and to have a good look at the shooter, there it is. So it's designed just like a spaceship, I suppose. Um, and your discs, let's just take a disc again, pop it in the middle there and you just separate the Oh, I hit, <laughs> I hit one of the other discs that time, so it didn't stick on the board. But you just separate the, and I did it again, I hit it again. But you just, you, literally, you just separate the, yeah, that one's not hit, not landing. Um, it, it, they, they do hit, it just depends on um, how you're doing it. I'm far too close here um, for them to stick properly, so that's the reason why they're falling off the, off the board. I need to be further back. Um, but as it is, I'm only about 12 inches away where I'm shooting from, so we need to be further back than that. Um, otherwise, it just, they, they just hit the board and fly off. So uh, the distance is quite important. So um, And then, of course, then it all boils down to the scores that you score. But a really good, exciting target shooting game. Um, yeah, what more can I say? It's a very simple game, but it's it looks like it's a great, fun game to play. Um, and, uh, and, yeah... Um, for, for a nostalgic game that um, that's from what we're talking about we're talking 44 years ago now so how well did these games do well back in the 70s and 80s there was an awful lot of space games out because space was a big thing there was an awful lot of space television shows on and uh, everybody tried to get in on the act because space was uh, say a very very popular subject um, and so Ideal Games, they produce games. Um, every single one of their games always sells very well, so you can't say it doesn't. Um, some better than others, of course. 
Um, do I remember seeing this one around? Well, I'll be honest with you, I don't recall seeing this back in the 1980s, but then in the 1980s, would I have been looking for games like this? Perhaps not, so maybe that's why I, I don't remember seeing it. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing they must have sold a fair amount, um, and they produced them in, in fairly large quantities, um, these games, so I'm dare saying they must have produced uh, the games and sold them uh, over a period of time. Now let's fast forward 44 years to 2024, which we are now. How often do this, or does this game come up on the platforms? Well, I can hardly recall seeing these coming up at all. Um, so whether that's because it wasn't a highly popular game or whether it's because uh, the type of game it is, maybe the quantities wasn't as high, they didn't produce as many as they did uh, likes of other games i'm not quite sure um but they really don't appear or maybe it's because they haven't survived the test of time maybe the the velcros come off and they're not being replaced on them uh, and people just end up throwing the games away that's a possibility uh maybe the the fabric on the board tore broke what have you that's a possibility maybe the stand broke i don't know uh, but there's many reasons why the games could have been thrown away um, so, and really, were they designed to, to survive the test of time, this type of game? Probably not. Um, probably designed only for uh, a short life. But um, although having said that, the shooter is very, very well designed. Um, solid plastic, shoots very well. Uh, and apart from the stickers coming off, and you're seeing the gun marks on the actual uh, shooter, you would, um, yeah, you would say it's in, it's in fabulous condition. Um, and to be honest with you, the board is in this one as well. It's in very good condition. The Velcro is just beginning to come away on some of the discs, but it doesn't matter because it's still attached and can be glued back on. Um, and really, if uh, you're unhappy with a Velcro, well, you can buy replacement Velcros in various different widths. I'm sure you'll be able to find one to reattach to these discs. Uh, and use again if you really wanted to. So, so the game is still uh, there to be played with and enjoyed for many um, people in the future. But back to the point, no, they don't come up for sale very often on the platforms. Um, I can't ever remember seeing one on the platform, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but that's not to say they don't. Maybe they do. Um, I've only been recently looking because we've acquired um, a, a couple of these games, actually, um, from um, a few collectors that have given up collecting now um, so yes or no they don't come up for sale very often however yes we at Midas Touch have done it again and we've managed to find a few of these and they are currently available to purchase on the Midas Touch website which you can get to very simply by clicking the link below it will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage ideal games and many other vintage toys games and collectibles come to that there's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive that this is something you won't want to miss because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you are looking for, Something old you've never been able to find. Something quirky you might want to buy for a friend. Or perhaps just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed reviewing this wonderful old ball game with me. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you again next video. So bye for now.